Alright guys, if you record videos regularly, how many times has this happened to you? Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to unbox the video and start again. So today we're going to be talking about the, um, um, yeah, the, oh, crying out loud. Even if you're a professional that records videos on a daily basis, we're all human and we naturally forget what we want to say all the time. This is where something like this would come in. This is the Deskview T12 teleprompter. Now, I've never used a teleprompter that much before, but I am very keen on doing it because like myself, I do make mistakes and this would actually essentially save you so much time from not messing up your speech. Then it just makes things so much easier and more productive for your video creation workflow. So let's go ahead. This is a brand new heavy duty premium teleprompter. Let's set it up, showcase you guys how it works and see how it looks when I'm looking directly through the teleprompter into my Sony a7C. Now the Deskview T12 comes in this very nice carry case. Let's go ahead and unpack this. Okay, so we have the user manual. This is the teleprompter. You can see how large it is. And actually it is a foldable one. So it's very convenient if in case you didn't want the teleprompter in the way when you do your filming, then you can fold it down so you can just see your camera lens. So you have yourself the mounting plate there. Again, it's very heavy duty and you can actually use this for both your phone and your mirrorless camera. You have a cleaning cloth, some screws and mounts, and then you also have the L-shaped mount as well if you wanted to switch your camera to portrait view and shoot in that way, maybe for your Instagram live videos, your TikTok videos, wherever it may be. That is the entire teleprompter unit. You'll see it comes with the sunshade as well i'll just pull that out to the side this is super solid heavy duty and i'm pretty excited to try this out and finally you have yourself the teleprompter remote so this will connect to bluetooth so this will connect to bluetooth to your tablet or your phone wherever you're using the app to see the speech but essentially there is a desk view app that you can use with this remote as well I reckon this would also work with other teleprompter apps that you may already have or that are available on the app stores. And I will try it out with a secondary one in addition to the Desby one, just in case you guys have a similar one that you're very used to or that you've paid for. So now that we've seen everything in here, let's go ahead and set it up with my Sony a7C. Now the great thing is that there's no assembly required. It's literally just to connect a few pieces and just connect it to your camera and you're ready to go. So let's just do that together. The first thing I'm going to do is take this mounting plate out. Then this just slots in to there. You've got the little red screw that you just tighten that and just put it in there like so. Then the mounting plate, you'll put your camera on there essentially and then you just slot it in like so. And then just make sure you position your camera to go inside this at the right position. So let me go ahead, set this up with you guys. Like so. Very easy to connect with the Velcro along the top and the sides. Then this slot will be for your camera lens that you just stick into there. And then finally, I can just peel off protective sleeve for the screen and there we go the L plate mount would go onto here like so in case you wanted to set up your camera vertically and shoot in portrait mode so that's just an additional attachment but for this purpose I'm just going to shoot in landscape so I'll just leave this to the side and that's it how quick and easy is that so let me go ahead and mount this on my tripod with my camera on top I'll put it through the hole here and showcase you guys how it looks overall. So now that it's set up, one thing I just wanted to note, I took out the 3 8 screw. This was mounted just there at the back, but I dropped it through that hole there just because I want it to be easy to flip out the screen as well. So I can just do that like this. So I've only utilized the quarter inch screw to mount my camera. So everything is in place. I've got the knob tightener added into there as well. 
this is adjustable i can move this backwards and forwards there you can see the glass itself is crystal clear it doesn't block or show any smudges via the lens now if i turn this on everything is absolutely clear i can't see anything that's blocking the view either from the glass or from the sunshade or anything else so that's the monitor that i connect my camera to everything is set up you can easily adjust the screen as well so you can tilt that backwards just in case it's difficult to read and then you also have the mounting plate for your tablet or your phone if you do use your phone to use an app then it has to be landscape mode but this actually goes perfectly further out to fit most tablets the teleprompter on its own is 1.5 kilograms but the entire kit when you set it up with the mounting plates and everything is 2.5 kilograms so just bear that in mind when you want to mount this on a tripod and there needs to be a specific tripod that would be suitable for this large metallic mounting plate for the entire kit and i'll leave a link in the description for my tripod here by sd works perfectly fine and is very easily adjustable now just before i dive into the app let's look a little bit about the remote control now this is a very nicely designed ergonomic fit remote control it's so easy to set up i literally just put two AAA batteries that are not supplied into the remote Turned it on by just holding the power button there for a couple of seconds and then went into my settings on my iPad and it showed up as best view. Once done, it's just flashing red there constantly, which indicates that it's now connected. So there's a few buttons here that will be utilized with the app. Of course, every teleprompter app will be different. Sometimes you may need to buy a premium version of one to utilize more advanced buttons on a remote control, or you can just use the joystick. Then you also have a button just there at the top called OK. That is essentially to start and stop the teleprompter. I'm gonna go ahead and use basically the joystick or the start and stop because that essentially is all I need. I'm gonna set the speed inside the app anyway. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sample reading of the teleprompter to see how natural it looks. Now this is the best view app. I'm gonna use this for my iPad. Now they don't have an iPad specific version but it works perfectly fine if you just go full screen on the iPhone version on the iPad. So as you can see, I've just added some sample text explaining a little bit more about the highlights of the T12 teleprompter. Very simple. All I need to do is click in there. Now I wouldn't worry about the text being cut off there. Once I go into full screen mode, it would work absolutely fine. To change the settings, just hit the menu there. You can adjust the speed, the text size, background color, and if you wanted to mirror it, depending on how it looks and displays in the teleprompter. Very straightforward. If I hit the button just there on the bottom right, move it just below the red line, and essentially I'm ready to go. All I need to do is just press the OK button on the remote and the teleprompter speech will start moving upwards like so. And I just press again and I can stop it in case it's going a little bit too fast and I need to adjust it or anything like that. If I use the X button, I can go up or if I press the B button, I can go down. It moves a few lines on each scenario but that's absolutely fine. And it gives you the full control and flexibility of how you would like to read the speech when it's displayed on a teleprompter. Finally, I did mention I'll use a second teleprompter app to showcase to you guys. So this one is called teleprompter. I've put the same speech in here. Again, it works absolutely fine. This remote control works with pretty much any teleprompter app or anything else. It's just connecting to Bluetooth. Hit OK. And that also starts on that. And then you can stop. So for this purpose, I'll go ahead and I'll use the Best View app, set it up on the mount and showcase to you guys how natural it looks with me speaking to you guys directly by reading exactly what it says on here. Okay, so now I'll be using the remote control to start the teleprompter speech and I want to showcase to you guys to see how natural it sounds when I'm just reading off of the screen. So let's go ahead and do that now. The T12 teleprompter has a 70 to 30 beam splitter glass with 26 coated layers adopting premium beam splitter glass with multi-layer coating for no light loss. The Deskview T12 kit gives you the highest definition prompting and is very easy to read. The DSLR and tablet prompting mode supports more than 24mm horizontal shooting and less than 35mm vertical shooting. What that means is whether you look at a teleprompter from the front or the side, no vignetting or any part of the teleprompter would appear within the frame. So as you saw guys, I read that pretty fast. I can slow it down a little bit just so that it remains below that red line that you're just seeing on the app. 
I think that's the cutoff line for being just below the lens. If it gets a little bit higher than that, then your eyes might start wandering a little bit higher and higher. Now in that demo, you saw the text, it went above the red line and you can notice my eyes move slightly left and right. This actually wouldn't happen if you use a mobile phone because the text will be a lot smaller and it'll be more directed towards the lens. But what I'm gonna do is I've slowed it down a little bit just so that the text remains below the red line. So I'm kind of directly always looking inside to the lens without looking up, down, left, right with my eyes. So let's see if that makes a big difference as well. The T12 teleprompter has a 7030 beam splitter glass with 26 coated layers, adopting premium splitter glass with multi-layer coating for no light loss. The Deskview T12 kit gives you high definition prompting and is easy to read. The DSLR and tablet prompting mode supports more than 24 mm horizontal shooting and less than 35 mm vertical shooting. What that means is whether you look at the teleprompter from the front or the side, no vignetting or any part of the teleprompter would appear within the frame. Now, although that was a little bit slow, I wanted to showcase the difference between the speed and how your eyes wander when you're reading the text off of the teleprompter. Again, it's multi-purpose. You can use your mobile phone to make it a little bit smaller. And on this final test, I've made the text smaller to match the iPhone size. So if you were to use this on a phone, this would be more targeted towards the lens. So if you are at a distance where you can easily read it, then I always recommend have the text a little bit smaller and tighter towards the lens size itself. So let's go ahead and see an example of this one. The T12 teleprompter has a 7030 beam splitter glass with 26 coated layers, adopting premium splitter glass with multi-layer coating for no light loss. The Deskview T12 kit gives you high definition prompting and is easy to read. The DSLR and tablet prompting mode supports more than 24 millimeter horizontal shooting and less than 35 millimeter vertical shooting. What that means is whether you look at the teleprompter from the front or the side, no vignetting or any part of the teleprompter would appear within the frame. Now you guys can see, I'm still continuing to look directly at the lens in that same position. I've kind of blocked it out with that square around the lens with the size of the text. So for me, I'm pretty happy. I've checked the results and this is something that I would definitely use to save a lot of time when preparing my speech for recording my videos and also just making sure I cover everything I need to without forgetting to cover some points of my tech reviews. Now this comes in at $179 on Amazon. I've got the link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. If you do create videos regularly and you want something like this to help you speed things up and deliver videos faster, quicker and easier, then this is definitely the one to get. You can see how quickly I set it up. It's very heavy duty, it's durable. If you didn't want to use it, it's very easy just to fold down and just have your camera in full view instead of the teleprompter in the way. That's not a problem whatsoever. I think it's a great price. I think it's a great tool to have for any kit, especially if you do a lot of things in your own personal studio like myself. And if there is anything else you want to know specifically about this kit, drop a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I have new tech reviews, new camera accessories, and all really good gadgets that I think you're gonna like. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.